Hey guys, Trinda here with another Target haul. If you did not see my last one, I will leave the link in the description box down below because I got some other fun Christmas stuff from the dollar spot last time. Uh, I spent just about $6, but I did get um, some soda and that's in the garage. Okay, so the non Christmassy kind of stuff, I just bought this 10 pack of yogurt raisins for my kids' lunches. They love those. Some socks, because somehow, Nixon being the third boy, we have lost all the socks in his size. So he just needs some more with winter coming up. And I needed some paper plates. I don't use these very often. I actually like to use them as little cutting boards. Um, that's what I like the best, so I don't have to wash the big cutting boards. If you hear my toddler, he is home. I'm trying to get this done before the... Uh, Big boys get home from school and see it. Okay, now for the fun stuff. All right, first off, I got this adorable gingerbread mini village kit. It was just about $10. Usually we buy the big gingerbread house from Costco and decorate it as a family. But now with five of us, everybody kind of wants to do their own and it's hard to all work on the same one at the same time. So I thought this was a great alternative. Everybody can do their own little house. All three boys and then my husband actually likes to decorate one too. I do too, but um, I can do without since there's only four. So it's cute, it comes with Santa's house, candy shop, chalet, toy shop, and then the gingerbread bases. It comes with the icing and some candies and the little village signage. I just thought that was adorable. And it, that will be fun to put out and fun family thing to do. This is so cute. I got this at the dollar spot for $3. The snow kind of goes around, but isn't that cute little Christmas trailer? I just thought that would be a fun decoration. This was, let's see, this was $5. So this little joy sled and it has a little thing to hang it. So I thought that was cute. These star lights were only $3 and they're battery operated. So I thought that'd be really cute for my mantle since I don't have a plug right there to kind of light it up. And for three bucks, I thought that was adorable. They also had like little Christmas trees that were really cute. I had a hard time deciding, but I went with the stars. This you might've seen in my last haul. I bought one of these for my two year old. And I thought the older boys might like it too. But again, this Target only had one. So maybe I'll find a third one and all three of them can have it. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do, but these are fun for a dollar. All right, I just bought these adorable stickers were a dollar. I actually have a planner I use and I usually decorate it with stickers, so I thought this would just be a fun addition or to like Christmas cards. I thought those were really cute. And these are kind of like 3D, these little red things on those. So those are cute. I just got this three pack of box gift card holders. They were a dollar. I usually end up giving gift cards to a couple people and I never have anything cute to put them in. So I thought I'd pick those up so they're just ready to go. This was a dollar as well. This is a magnetic list pad. A lot of times my grocery lists and such get to be a little bit longer during the Christmas time. So I thought this was perfect. It's a little bit bigger or I could write a note on it. And it has the big magnet in the, back, in the back, so I thought that was really adorable. I just picked up some more gift tags because I wasn't sure how many I have. I haven't gotten out my Christmas stuff yet, but I thought for a dollar I'd just go ahead and pick these up so I have plenty. And this I did buy for my two-year-old. He is really into playing kitchen and play food right now. And I just thought that was a cute breakfast set. It has the bacon and pancakes and syrup and eggs. And I just thought that was really adorable for $3. They had a few more kinds there. And last but not least are these wood tags. So funny story, the guy is ringing me up and I see these go past on the belt and I'm like, I did not mean to get those. I don't know how they got in my cart. I don't know what happened. But then I was like, nah, they're a dollar. I'll check them out. So they are wooden, they're really pretty wood tags and they're super thick, I don't know if you can see. And so I can always use them as a gift tag, just like it shows there. Or I was thinking I could do some cute stuff like with paint, write the boys' names on them or the year, or I could even 
maybe Mod Podge a little photo with the year on there or just use them as decorations on the Christmas tree as is. I just thought these were actually really cute. So um, I'm actually happy those got in my cart by mistake. All right, so there is my smallish haul, but I am really trying to get on top of Christmas this year. Let me know, how are you doing in your Christmas shopping department? Have you started buying gifts? Have you started stocking up? I always, every year I'm like, I'm gonna get it all done before Thanksgiving, and that doesn't happen. But I think I'm doing good this year, starting with like the stocking stuffers and stuff like that, because those are the kind of things I always end up grabbing last minute. I just end up going to the store and just piling anything to my cart to get it done. So I'm really trying to pick up things as I see them, especially for like stocking stuffers and stuff like that. All right, well, thank you for joining me today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.